Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the order of your inputs in Reaper. So I have a project set up here, and I've already recorded some drums to this track. As you can tell, I did it using multi-channel recording. We have a kick, snare, a couple of toms, overheads, and rooms all on the same track. And we did that by changing our inputs or track channels to eight. And adjusting the input on this track from mono or stereo to eight channel input right here, one through eight. So in this way, we can record to this track eight channels at a time. But there are times where our mics are plugged into our audio interface in a different order, which is going to make it more complicated because we want the order of our kick, snare, toms, overheads, and rooms to be like this. So let's take a look at our inputs. If we go up here to the audio device settings. We can see I chose my eight channel audio interface. And if we go over here to the audio tab, we can adjust our inputs down here, the channel naming and mapping. With it turned off, our input names are going to be set by default to generic names by just seeing names like input one through eight for stereo as pairs and also eight channel one through eight, but only in that order without any names. But if we want to change it, we could change it right here. Just turn this on, hit this button, and we can rename our inputs based on which mic is plugged in to each. Let's do that by double clicking input one and naming it kick. And do the same with the other inputs, snare, and so on. So now all the inputs are named. So if we go back to our track and the input, we can see them with the names we set up. Also in stereo as stereo pairs, and also eight channel from kick to room right. I should also mention, I turned off show non-standard stereo pairs. If we leave this on, we'll see more stereo pair options in here using the odd numbers in addition to the even ones. But I like to clean it up, so I tend to turn this off, giving me less options in here. Let's say we plugged in our mics to our audio interface in a different order. Maybe the snare mic we plugged into input eight, and the room mic right into input two. So now, if we go to our inputs, the inputs are in a different order, which doesn't matter for mono, but it will for stereo, as we can't record our stereo rooms. And also with eight channel, it's gonna put the inputs in the wrong order, from kick to snare. So the snare channel is gonna be down here with room right being up here. We probably don't want that. So what we could do, Let's go back into here and put these in the right order. Even though it's plugged into input two, we could still put this or drag it down here. And the same with the snare. It's plugged into input eight, but we could put it over here. And this is the order that Reaper is going to respond to. So now it's in the right order. As we can see right here, even though they're plugged into different inputs for our stereo, and more importantly, the eight channel option. It's gonna record one through eight, or kick through room right. Even though our inputs are in a different order. Let's check out a different example. Let's say we accidentally put the overheads in the wrong order. Overhead left is overhead right, and overhead right is overhead left. We can just switch it right from here. Double click it. Set this one to six and this one 
to 5. And now, it still looks correct over here, even though the inputs are different. So if we want to record our overheads right here, they're going to show up correctly. And again, in here. Even though our inputs are plugged in in a different order. So we can switch them around real easily right from in here. As Reaper only looks at the order we put these in, not the hardware inputs they're plugged into. And this will also work on our outputs. We could change the order of any of these and rename them based on what's plugged into those sources. But it's a great way of changing the order of our inputs, and we could do it in here, in these preferences. And we could save it to use again right here. Just give it a name. And then if we reset it over here, we could always bring it back right from here. And it goes back to the names we set up, the order of our inputs for Reaper, and which input they're plugged into, physically on our audio interface. So that's pretty much it. That's how to change the order of our inputs in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.